If you think the recent mild weather and near record cold are indications of what to expect this winter, you might be onto something. There's a signal there that we can see above normal temperatures for this this uh, this winter. Nelson Voss is a warning coordination meteorologist for the National Weather Service in New York. The signal he refers to has a lot to do with cooler than normal water temperatures in the equatorial Pacific, also known as La Nina. The weather pattern is fed back into the atmosphere and picked up by the jet stream in the northwest. According to NOAA's outlook, the southern two-thirds of the nation and the northeast will likely become unseasonably mild on average, which is quite the opposite for the northwest and northern plains. When it comes to precipitation, western and northeast states have been experiencing a drought this year and could become worse in some areas. So far, New York City is trending close to five inches below average. So will this winter offer any relief? Usually when we're in a La Nina phase, for instance, we get those really rough um, winter storms that pop up. And once that trend continues, we could possibly get those uh, significant um, snowstorms, right? Yeah, certainly. So, uh, you know, it, it, just because of La Nina, even though the overall signal um, during these years is for you know a better chance of seeing above normal temperatures, that's on average. You're gonna see a lot of variability during the winter. Even though NOAA predicts below normal precipitation for southern Alaska and the southern half of our nation, northern sections are expected to be above average. That could lead to developing storms that travel east, bringing frigid temperatures and, you guessed it, snowstorms to our area. The last couple of years, we've seen most of the storms that have been coming up, the, instead of being tracking up the coast, they've been tracking to the west of it, west of us. I think, again, if we can get uh, uh, you know, the right pressure patterns in the Atlantic, uh, North Atlantic and the Arctic, uh, we certainly could see what we saw that early January in 2018, where the cold air and the moisture came together to give us a, a pretty prolific snow. That snowstorm dumped 9.8 inches in Central Park. As far as figuring out how many snowstorms and how intense they'll be this year, it's too early to tell. But one thing's for sure, you can expect a return of the polar vortex at some point and snow squalls brought on by a steep temperature decline, heavy snow, gusty winds that can cause dangerous whiteout conditions. And when that happens, we've got you covered. Stacey and Gooden, PIX11 News.